Last story about Bowerman and the, and the shoe design. There was a running coach out of New Zealand named Arthur Lydiard, arguably the most successful coach in history. He coached everything from the 800 meters to the marathon, and his runners were practically indestructible. He won His runners won more Olympic and world championship medals than anyone else I, I know of in the same kind of time frame. Lydiard said to Bill Bowerman about the new shoe that looked kind of like this. He said, uh, and, and by the way, Lydiard made shoes for his runners that looked like ours because he was a shoemaker when he wasn't coaching. And so we have a lot of Lydiard runners. Anyway, he comes up to Bowerman and says, those new shoes of yours, they're going to kill people. And Bowerman's response was, uh, the way it was told me was, yeah, but we're selling a shitload of them. Here's the kicker on this. We have heard from high level people at every major shoe brand, some variation of this natural movement thing that we do with zero shoes, totally legit, but we can't do it because it would be admitting we've been lying for 50 years. They know that the modern athletic shoe causes injuries. And if that sounds crazy to people listening, I'll tell you how we know they know. Nike put out a study two and a half years ago, actually coming out on three years ago, where they tested a brand new running shoe they had developed against their best-selling road running shoe. And the way the study was publicized was that new Nike shoe reduces injuries by 52%, which it did. But then you have to look at the actual numbers, which have not been published, but I have a copy of the study. And uh, you'll hear why it hasn't been published. So the best-selling shoe in a 12-week study designed by Nike, over 30% of the people got injured in 12 weeks. In the new shoe, only 15% got injured in under 12 weeks. How is that good? Imagine you walked into a running shoe store and you said, I'm looking for a good running shoe. And they said, all right, here's one. It's our best seller. Uh, one out of three people get injured within 12 weeks. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Don't, don't you have anything better than that? Okay, well, here's another one. Only one out of seven people get injured within 12 weeks. Geez, don't you have anything that doesn't injure people? <laughs> no, no. You walked into a running shoe store. <laughs> now, we can't make claims, medical claims um, about injury reduction or things like that. All I'll say is look at our reviews. In fact, um, we, I just looked, edited a video or just looked at an edit of a video that we're about to do where uh, it's, here's the hook. It says, I know this sounds crazy, but it's literally illegal for me to show you many of the 61,000 reviews we have with an average of 4.8 stars because there isn't a medical study using our shoes that proves or, or uh, says what hundreds of thousands of our customers have said they've benefited from when they wear zero shoes. I mean, it literally pains me that I can't show you these reviews. The only way I could do it is if I redacted them like their top secret you know, uh, documents like this. And then I show a bunch of redacted reviews where it's just all you know, bleeped out on the reviews. And I go, you know, it literally pains me that I can't show you those reviews. It hurts my feet, my ankles, my hips, my knees, my back. Ah, there's something caught in my eye. <laughs> so, uh, my lawyers flipped out when I showed them that video. They went, well, it's not illegal to say it, so go ahead. Anyway, that was a long answer to why do shoes look like this and what the problem is. And again, here, here's the last thing I'll say about this. Probably, eh, probably not. We know that the running shoe companies have a problem. And this is not true just about running shoes, but we know they have a problem and we know they know it because there's a multi-billion dollar industry about things to put in your shoes to make them work better. The shoe companies have been doing this for a while. They know what that stuff is. They could build that in. They're not making money on the aftermarket products like orthotics and insoles, et cetera. So why don't they just do it? And the answer is the fundamental design causes problems. End of story.